SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. Very happy to have you back here. Big update. Verizon discloses some really crucial information about the C-band delay. All right, obviously the C-band is going to be a huge network boost for Verizon and AT&T customers. Obviously those two the biggest. Uh, there's also going to be release of more of that spectrum coming down the line. So it's a big part of what all three carriers currently are doing with 5G. So they offered an explanation today at a an explanation during, I think, what was considered to be some kind of like a V-team meeting that I was able to watch on their YouTube channel. It was like a show, and a Verizon spokesperson gave a long, you know, long-winded analogy. And I'm going to explain what they said, and you guys can give me your your commentary and your replies as to, you know, what you think of it. All right, so uh, the FAA, uh, obviously advocating for altimeter interference concerns for those that are flying aircraft uh, have concerns apparently about C-band potentially creating interference. And the Verizon spokesperson at the event today uh, gave this analogy of radio stations and neighboring radio stations potentially having interference. And he took like 10 minutes to explain this analogy and an example. Here's the takeaway from it. And I'll you guys can go to the YouTube channel for Verizon and watch it for yourself. Here's a takeaway. Verizon is blaming the old legacy altimeter radar equipment for the issue. The interference concerns lie with the ability of the aircraft gear to properly filter through the available frequencies and then pick out the ones that they are trying to connect to. So he was quoted as saying they may need to upgrade a little bit. So throwing shade at, you know, the aircraft that have older technology, older hardware that isn't you know, as good as it could be, right, with upgraded equipment. The second thing they stated, uh, the spokesperson stated from Verizon, FCC spectrum engineers have already cleared the spectrum for cellular use applications. Dozens of countries already doing so with no issues. There's no data to suggest otherwise. There are no interference concerns. And uh, the last thing they mentioned is the aviation industry is sour grapes. It's He used a new neighbor analogy based on an apartment living example having empty suites for a long time, and now somebody's moving in. And that's how he compared it. So the FAA, FAA believes that they just want to ask for more time to reassure that, you know, the aviation use cases won't be negatively impacted by the potent, uh, potential, uh, you know, frequencies that are broadcasted for cellular in the neighboring frequencies. So my takeaway here, Verizon and AT&T are not, we're not ready <laughs> for their December launch anyways. I guess... The December 5th time frame was just something that the FCC made as a time for them to be able to broadcast if they wanted to, but it doesn't look like AT&T and Verizon were actually ready, right? So it didn't make a difference to them that they just delayed it. I think they just didn't want to make us think about it. It didn't make sense to create an issue out of it. So they just said, fine, we'll just delay it, right? So um, as right now, no C-band delay, really. This is probably right on target. Uh, they were going to probably do it at the start of the new year anyways. So nothing to see here, apparently. Uh, but the one thing that I will say is there's no C-band official launch date made as of right now, even after all that disclosure. But they said that there is a day. So there are people at Verizon. There are people at AT&T probably that do know when C-band is getting turned on officially. They just haven't disclosed it and they haven't said anything to anyone yet. So we shall wait for that day. And we'll let you guys know when we find out. I doubt any information is going to leak. I think we'd probably postulate on the next live cast when we think it's going to be. I have my own estimations, but I'll save those for another day. Sound off in the comment section below. Your thoughts and opinions are welcome. Go ahead and, you know, give me your thoughts and opinions. So looking forward to reading those. If you like this video and enjoyed it and appreciated the update, you let me know by giving this a like and then sharing this to your socials. Appreciate it very much. Check out the links in the description box. The Patreon page, get you know discounts on Los Mobile, early access to videos, exclusive content not found anywhere else. And then, of course, the Twitter handle, the email address, it's all there. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.